big topics over the last few weeks have been referees for one and World Cups for another, with England doing so well qualifying. We're in uh, good company here tonight. We've got Philip Don, ex-referee. Um, He's uh, also done the World Cup in um, America. We've got Gary Shaw, ex-England and Aston Villa. Robbie Savage, ex-pin-up. Leicester City. <laughs> what do you mean and ex? Wales. What do you mean ex? <laughs> and um, ex footballer Gary Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> and, Tony, and Tony Bennett look alike. <laughs> but getting getting on getting on to the World Cup, England doing so well, Gary. Yeah. Like to have been there, right? Yeah, I'd love to love to have had the opportunity of playing the World Cup. I mean I, I missed out just in eighty two. Um, very close in eighty two when I was uh, very young, but uh, <laughs> This will be a fantastic opportunity for the guys who are going to go there, and I'm sure they'll all be, you know, fighting desperately to to t retain the form uh, and the outsiders to try and get in the squad. You know, fantastic, and being so close as well, be very well supported, no doubt. And Rob, well, Wales, Vinna, we haven't qualified for World Cup now for it's 1952, I don't think. At Lexus of Sparky, Ian um, Dean Saunders. Well, that is a problem. Everyone says, isn't it? Wales have got the players. Yeah, well, they had them, but they're getting rid of them. Speak for yourself. Yeah. 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 When we got the likes of him taking over his shirt, what the hell have I got? Well, what do you think? Do you think he's good enough to take over no, his shirt? No, but when they say that, obviously, Benno. You must have been close to a Welsh cat, though, with a name like well, Benno. You, no, Benno, no, I mean, no, no. Jamaica, Benny. Jamaica. We're going there with Jamaica, so what can I say? We're better than Wales, ain't we? This same as fashion. It's not fashion. It's a Welsh name, isn't it? When England were doing well, fashion was the big. England man, then Nigeria and Edward. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they chose it. And he's West Indies when the cricket comes around, well, isn't he? Obviously. I'm Australian when the rugby comes around. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about Wales? What about Wales with the players they've got? It's a pity because they've got top class players and it's a pity they can't get to the World Cup. They've missed out a few times. But these things do happen. And it's like you say, you've got Sparky, Rushy. Yourself, well, you say Was. yourself. So. <laughs> Is that no but it's, it's, it, it's a pity, and like you say, you've got other countries now are catching you up and taking you over. Uh, like you say, us, Jamaica, us, you noticed, and you've got Nigeria and other countries like that have, have come, up, come up to you and passing you I and think going to the World Cup. Like the wheels now, are they I don't know. I think, I mean, well, I'm not getting to it anyway. <laughs> Somebody has been to a World Cup, Philip. What is it like? Well, it's fantastic. I, I spent a week at Easter in Dallas where we were training and we had the course. And it wasn't until the end of that week that I knew I was actually going back because they took 30 referees and only 24 were going to be invited for the well, it was World all the, Cup. It, it was a big test sort of thing. It was a test. You had f uh, f two fitness tests, you had a full medical, you went through the laws of the game and then at the end of the taught at the end of that week we were told we'd know within two days. It was literally a fortnight later when I got a letter saying I, I was going. When I went to Dallas on 12th of June, we were based in Dallas for the five weeks and it, it was a fantastic experience. But again, referees were, were put under a lot of pressure. Every day we had seminars uh, and you looked at the videos of the previous day's games and if a referee hadn't cautioned or hadn't sent off, then he, he was told about it. And on a couple of occasions, they actually said to referees, in your first game, you cautioned six, you issued one red card. Why only three yellows in your second? We want more cards, we want more penalties. And the reason they did the penalty one was because in the qualifying competition, they analysed every game and the referees only awarded one penalty in every three games. And they, we were told that there must be more penal offences committed and therefore they wanted more goals, they wanted more penalties. Why is that though? Why is that pressure? Well, because we felt we were under pressure, because if we hadn't performed how FIFA wanted, we'd have been sent home. Because halfway through the tournament, they cut the list from 24 uh, referees to nine referees. Fortunately, I stayed on and I refereed a quarter-final. What are you trying but, to but say? You, but, you, but you must be going against your beliefs, really, Philip, in a way, because, I mean, surely a, a referee, a good referee, from the player's point of view, is one that's like not noticed and one yeah, that's just, that's you right. know, doesn't have to make rash decisions in that's any it. way. I mean, that's what the players say, yeah. you know. What a, a good, good game, referee. the referee. It's always yeah. judged on. Yeah. He hasn't, you know, he's not been, he's not, yeah. he's not been over the top with his decision-making. Yeah. I think the point you make there is probably down to the fact that being held in America, 
you know, it had to be seen to be a big, you know, uh, a big spectacle. And decisions had to be made, yeah. and, and you can't just go through a game without something, yeah. you know, irrational happening. I think whether it be from a player or from a referee. Yeah. There's that point about FIFA wanted it to be the biggest spectacle in the world, and they think France will be even bigger <laughs> than the States. The other point is, you've got because it is a World Cup, you've got referees from countries like Mauritius, Australia, Japan. The guy from Mauritius had never refereed in front of more than 3,000, and he did the States and Russia. He did when we were there. <laughs> 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 when they saw Ben O perform, they all left. <laughs> but he, was then, he then refereed in front of 74,000. So you can imagine, he, he had difficulty in coping with that pressure, and, and he actually only ended up refereeing the one game. Yeah, but a penalty is a penalty. So it is. If, if they have a go at you saying that you're not giving enough penalties, who's right or wrong here? You're not doing, well, the, giving the, the right the decisions. Say, say on a Saturday now, Phil, if, if say someone goes over and, and you think he's dived, yeah. if you think that out there, then you're saying you'd have to give the pen. No, if, if, if I thought he'd died, I'd caution him because we were told also we had to caution players who feigned injury or tried to get other players cautioned or sent off. What kind of stuff mean? FIFA saying you should be given more penalties or things like that. They must think that you're not the decision is wrong, what you're making. They, they, they were saying that in the qualifying competition only one penalty was given in every three games. They're saying, come on chaps, there must be more penalty offences and you're turning a blind eye to That's it. Americans though, isn't it? They want action, they want goals, don't they? They, they want, need, I mean, yeah, shootouts and everything. It. But the, the the about it was to do with the entertainment. What about, what, what about your, I know obviously getting there and, and, and getting picked I think is the same as us getting yeah, picked for the country that's right, planet. That's right. What are, the, what are um, the, other, the other benefits like the money and all that I mean did you end up because um, uh, the referee for um, the Holyfield Tyson fight yeah 10, 10 grand he got is, is it he? 10 grand he got right. 10 grand yeah, yeah. Well, if I tell you that for the five, the week at Easter when I was in America and the five weeks I was off school in June and July, I had to take unpaid leave from school. So I didn't... Well, yeah, I, I've got some new suits. Yeah, but I'm, from my job as a head teacher, I actually had to take unpaid leave. Anytime I went abroad, I lost out.